I'm nervous. I don't think I'm ready for the open air. It's been nearly 33 years. Well, it's not time like the present now, is there, love? And don't worry, you'll be fine. That's what the bubble's for. With the bubble, you can lead a normal life without ever having to worry about melting. I know. I love you. To get through a day. Been chasing after your mind. But in loving you, I find a power deep in my soul to believe. Job. You'll be fine, love. Finders are crying out for people like you to make their crispy pancakes. See you later, then. Okay. Three meters. Well done, Barry. Paralympics, here we come. Oh, shot. Oh. What's that dank smell? Gwyn. No, the other one. It smells of dried peas and sand pits. Oh, it's my toes. I'm starting to take more care of them. They always come last, my poor little tootsies. I mean, how often do you wash and pamper you was? Never. Exactly. But I bet you pamper other parts of your body frequently, eh? 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 <laughs> I know I do. <laughs> See... We neglect our toes. We treat them like, uh, like delinquents or outcasts or moths. Yet without them, we wouldn't be able to tap dance or tiptoe. Imagine that now. Oh, I don't want to. A world without toes scarcely bears thinking about. Uh, on other matters, we've got a serious problem. I've been looking at our accounts. Not now, Arwell. I've just eaten. Listen, Da, we can't sweep it under the lino any longer. We're going down, Da, deep, deep down, like he's 17. We haven't buried anyone for nine weeks. We got no money. Who's taking all our business? I don't know. But every day, I keep praying to the Dark One for a tragedy in the valleys so we can work again. But so far, nothing. I blame the advance in medicine myself. It's crippled the funeral game. Cooey, I'm back. Ta-da! Oh, Gwen, that's it! You are not to go on the spa again. That's the 40th beanbag you bought this week. Now take it outside. Don't buy any more. I won't pay you wages if you waste your money like that. Bloody spa, bloody beanbags. Listen, Dar. I've been thinking long and hard of a way of increasing business, and I think I've found a solution. <laughs> it's the future of undertaking. It's called cryogenesis. Cryo what? Genesis. No, no, no. The word's too complicated, Arwell. Won't catch on. Try harder next time. Oh, what's you trying? Make me a nice cup of Kenko as a good boy bar. Oh, 
No one wants to listen to me. I've been thinking long and hard, and I've got a rockin' idea how to increase business. Great! What is it? Hold on! Ah, Charvel! He's got a rockin' idea. This is our saviour. Get down on your weak knees and praise it. What in the name of Hank B. Marvin is that? It's a CB. With this, I can listen to secret 999 sound waves, find out who has just died and where. That way, we can get to the scene before anyone else and get to keep the corpses all to ourselves. Hey, 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 Percy, you are the mighty lion's bollocks. I know, right. Let's have a listen. Charlie, Charlie, Foxtrot, Charlie, we've got an emergency. 56 Benny Road, a woman has melted. No need to rush, she's dead already. Over. Ha <laughs> we got one. Come on, let's hey. go. Hey. So what about my idea? I've explained mine yet. Sorry, Alva, Percy's on to somebody here. Come on, man. No, no, no. Who, in the name of the Academy Award winning Keith Harrison Orville, are you? We are the Roosters. I am Philip, and this is my downgraded son, Ewood. Travelling funeral directors at your service. We travel the land in our mobile funeral unit and collect bodies. We are the fastest funeral directors in Christendom. And fit up. Uh, yes. This is Wales. This is our jurisdiction. Thank you very much. So crack off back to England, you me foul. That body's ours. No, oh, I don't think so, sir. The deal has already been secured. Bevan, how could you? We buried all your ex-wives. I'm sorry, Ivor. They just got here so quickly. I had no choice. How'd you get it so fast? Ah, meet the Rover Vitesse, the car of a champion. This baby can do naught to 60 in 43 seconds. It is the badger's bollocks. Six of cream. So if you want to do more business, you'd better get a better car. Instead of farting around in that shit trap. It's not a shit trap. It's a panda. A Fiat panda. You'd better be going, Pops. You've got a booty car. Oh, yes. Almost forgot. Better go back to the unit and get a man wash. Come on, boy. So long, gentlemen. They diss the panda. Nobody disses the panda. Boy, boss. Let's go home. We need an emergency meeting. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Nazareth. Yes, thank you very much. Yes. Goodbye. Well, I've just spoken to the mayor. He says there's nothing he can do about the roosters. They are perfectly entitled to travel the country and bury people as they go. He says they're like pikeys. Apparently, they've been banned from England and Scotland for stealing business and have just found Wales where they intend to make a killing. How long are they going to stay? Well, who knows? I mean, the cluckers could pitch up forever. So, not only do we have no money, no, the roosters plan to steal all our potential bodies. So, uh, where are they now? The mayor says that they parked up outside the old house hospice, you know, the place for the terminally old. And are just waiting for people to die so that they can be there first. Oh, that's terrible. It's a bloody good idea, though. Yeah, I know, top marks for innovation. Nevertheless, we can't let this continue. We have to put our heads together and come up with a solution. Don't worry, Gwyn. You were excused. Go outside and rob from the beanbags as a good boy. Yes. We could get a faster car. And how are we going to pay for it? I mean, we can hardly trade in Celia Craddock's for a new car. Now, can we? Hey, the moths have been at her face again. Well, uh, how about a sale? Two funerals for the price of one. No, we can't afford to give away a free funeral, man. Besides, people don't die in pairs anymore. 
I got it. We are going to drive the roosters out of town. We're going to set them up to do something so awful, so offensive, so shameful, that they can never show their giblets around Wales again. And how are we going to do that? All we need is a woman. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. But we don't know any women. Or someone who looks like a woman. No! Okay, so you know what to do. Yes, and I wish I'd never agreed to do this. They'll never fall for it. Brave heart, our man. Trusting Percy's plan is a good end. Yeah, right. Come on then. No time like the present. Let's get going. Go on, Arwell. Like a lion. Yes. Why are we here, Tata? Well, close your mouth while you're eating, you filthy mutt. Otherwise, I shall get the pins. <laughs> Oh, look at your gob. It's covered in oil. Mm. Come here. Mm. <laughs> yes, we are waiting here until one of the batties in there snuffs the bucket. How long will that be? My legs are turning to beans. I don't know. They are old and frail like a tortoise's beard. Could be any minute. Can I go out and stretch my legs? No, I told you, stay in the car. You can stretch them here. But there's no room! Oh, you've got little legs. What are you talking about? Come here, you bleeder. <coughs> oh, stop the press, he would. What have we here? It's a pretty. Heidi, hi, campers. Uh, would you like me to dance for you? Oh, yes. Thank you. Thoughts, Campers. Oh, yes. I think I need a sponge. It's working. It's bloody working. The cocks are loving it. Do you want to see a big chimney? Oh, yes. Pop in, then I'll show you. Put hands up, they're taking the bait. Yes. Let's just hope the roosters don't see his winkers and thatch your back. That could really cluck up the plan. Oh dear, look at the state of that. Huh? Christ, it looks like the cocoon reunion. <laughs> Come on, everyone, gather round. Where are we going, Mr. Wizard? Well, as it's your 110th birthday today, I thought I'd take you all on a lovely day out, seeing as it may be your last. Oh! Where are we going, man? We're going to Mumbles for the day, and then it's off to the pavilion to see your favourite comedian, Chris Rock! Fucking A! I love Chris Rock. I got an idea. What? Go back to the funeral parlor, blow up some balloons, yeah. get out the dips, find the Russ Abbott album, we are going to have a party! <gasps> Forgotten the tickets. Wait here! I'll be two minutes! Hey, 
take a look at that. Oh, yes, that is a big one. Mm -hmm. What's that stuff coming out of here? Oh, toxins. I love looking at pictures of chimneys pumping filth into the sky. Hey, baby, you like toxins? Oh, I love them. Mm -hmm. So, how long are you going to stay here, then? Now I've met you... forever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what's the plan? I've got a bloody clue. Percy's got all the answers. <laughs> Grim, were you laughing? Those balloons look like boobies. Oh, yeah, they do, don't they? Where did you get those balloons? Uh, they're Percy's. Expected to make it through the night, so I thought they might as well spend it here and die, then we can bury them. That way, business is quite literally on our doorstep. Oh, hey, that's a macabre idea, Percy. Yeah. But I bloody love it! Oh, but that's a genius! This could turn out to be the Undertaker scam of the Millennium. <laughs> All we have to do is wait for nature to take its course. Right, ladies and gentlemen, who fancies a scotch? Percy, you can't give a scotch in this statement. It could be. <laughs> Gwyn, get the malt kerosene to go by bar. <laughs> Can I have some more flat pop, that up? Oh, Gladys, shut him up and give him some pop. God. Oh. You know, I'm really looking forward to making out with you. Eward, what do you say? Thank you, Miss Pew. Go on, Gladys. Show us your naughties. I told you it. I'm not that sort of girl, Campus. Oh, please, don't tease me, Gladys, without giving me the treatment. <gasps> Ooh, what lovely, soft, beautiful hands you have. A lovely hard knuckles. I like a girl with knuckles. <laughs> oh, come on. Let me fill you with some of my toxins, mistress. Oh, oh still breathing. Damn. Never mind. Now's a good time for this. Now remember, Gwen, when they're ordering the coffins, they're in wheelchairs, so just double the length. Okay, you ready for this? Here we go. Twelve. Fourteen and a half. Well, this could take all night. We haven't got time to waste. We have to think of something to speed things up. You know, help them along a bit. Uh, we could lay on a few danger snacks, porky chins, faggots, bones, other food they could choke on. No, not efficient enough. I think we should play on the weakness of their hearts. You know, give them a little shock. That will finish them off. Now! Sit down. There we go. Oh. When are we going to see Chris Rock? I'm bored. Yes. I want to go back now. 
This isn't fun anymore. You are not going anywhere. And here we go again. Poor old Derek's having one of his contractions. He needs his medication. We all need our medication. Medication? We haven't got your medication. What? No medication. 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 Yes. Yes. Go and get a bottle and make some medicine, quick. Medication. What? Please, everything, just go. <laughs> come on, man. Lap that up. Come on, it'll do you the world. Oh, oh, come yeah, on. Oh, yeah, yeah, go on. Lap it up. There you go. Go on, lap it up, me. Things I do for this business. Oh, hello, Jackie. Clients. We're waiting for them to croak. Ah, well, how'd it go? Fine, I did exactly what you told me to do. Great. That means the roosters will be waking up right about now. What do you mean? What do you mean you're waiting for them to croak? That has got to have been the best sister at night ever. Fancy Whoopi recording that special introduction for us. <laughs> Seems we've got some anti whoopies in town, boy. What's going on? Get off my machine of a dream. Heywood, you've gone all whoopy. So have you. <laughs> You're not welcome here. You offend the spirit of whoopy. Dada, I'm scared. Belt them. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here! Whoopi! 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 What? I can't believe this! I leave the funeral parlor for ten hours and you try to poison some funny old people on their birthday? How could you? Who's his idea? Right. I'm going to get change, then I'm taking the bus and the very old people back to the old house where they belong. No, you can't. Come on, give me five more minutes. They're going to go any second. I don't know about you, but I feel wonderful. Me too. I haven't felt this good for years. It must have been that medication they gave us. It's a miracle. I can feel all the old memories come flooding back. I can't believe my revitalized eyes. <laughs> Look. Look at Maggie. She hasn't opened her eyes in two years. I stood up without help. I haven't stood without help for eight years. Bloody hell, I'll go deaf if I keep these on. I can hear. I can hear. I don't believe it. What's happened to us? I feel on top of the world. I haven't felt this good for years. <laughs> I suppose we've got no choice, have we? We're still alive. <laughs> oh, take a moment. No, 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 no. Drastic times call for drastic measures. Lethal injection time. Wait. No, you can't. Just you watch. <laughs> Academy Award winning Sissy Sparcheck. No! You were supposed to be dying! They're getting better. 
Die, they're getting better. It's a miracle. It's a pain in the ass. Get old, be old. Old? What does that mean? I'm king of the world. Hey, Ma, this song is going to punish you. What? I feel as randy as youth. I want man. Give me man. Ooh, you're handsome, chap. Give me a kiss. <laughs> We've had a great time. I don't know what you gave us today, but I feel like I could live forever. Thank you, Ivor. Yes, and I can hear again. You're miracle workers. We're the best. Come on, folks. Let's show those old farts at the hospice. Who's boss? Great idea. No, 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 There's still some hope. Come on. Can't you look quick, quick, quick? Get me go. If he's good, do it as Brian. We got them all. Oh, yes. Ah, not so far. These corpses are ours. What? But the road doesn't belong to you. No, you clucky bastard. No, but the car does. And they died on our car. Hmm? That can't be right. Thank you, Ewan. I have here a scroll dating back to olden times. Written by J.P.'s and our great, great, great grandfather, Mr. S. Baldwin. Go fuck up. It says by here, any persons or persons killed on our land, and I think you'll agree, my machine of a dream is wide enough to be considered land, is it not? Must be buried by us. No obstacles. He's a right to us. Come along, Whoopi. Let's get back to England and bury these nuts. Oh, yes, Don't do it. <laughs> well, some you win, some you lose. At least we got rid of the roosters. Hold on. You don't understand what just happened. Yes, I do. I've just lost five funerals. Yes, but the money you'd make from five funerals is nothing compared with what we could make with the cure from all known diseases. You what? Quinn's medicine. It cured them. They came in terminally old and left break dancing like electro babies. If we can just get the ingredients and sell them, we could make a fortune. Talk boy's got a point. Gwen, you are the messiah. <laughs> get a pen. Right. Wait, wait. wait. No, then, Gwen Bach. I want you to tell Daddy all the ingredients of the medicine, okay? Okay, right. okay. okay. There were two spoons. Two spoons. No, uh, uh, two. Come on, no, we'll come, 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 come. Uh, Droplets. Droplets. No, no. Uh, come on, uh, no, Gwen. Gwen, come on. One mug. One mug. 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 No, uh. Gwen, man, come on. Uh, a pot. A pot. No. Um, Gwen. A pot. Gwen. Uh, come on, Gwen.